it's Sunday on a beautiful spring day and we're gonna go see the Tam Tams to see what it looks like in COVID season. Those are my kids, at least one of those is my kids. And uh, funny thing, when I was a kid, I used to go biking with my dad and I would do laps on my dad. But then I get to a certain age of physical fitness where biking up a hill is not hard. You don't have to get off your bike and walk anymore. And it's only a matter of time, maybe 10 years, 15 years, before which my kid or kids are gonna be able to beat me going up a hill on a bike. As of now, I'm taking comfort in the muscles of youth. Okay, anyways, we're going to the Tam Tams. We're gonna see what it looks like. A lot of people outside today. Big crowd coming here, hold on. Hey. Okay, to be continued. This is Mount Royal, by the way, in summer or spring, whatever season we're in right now. That's a big pile of poop. You see here in Canada, our policemen come on horses and those horses poo. All right, guys, downhill is better. Yes, mm. yes. Go faster, faster, faster. Is that person jogging with a face mask? They are, okay. That's not a judgment about face masks. It's a judgment about jogging with a face mask outside. And also that Hawaiian shirt didn't add much to the equation. We are here at the Tam Tams and there is as much of a police presence as a human presence. This is the Tam Tams, and you can see the police right behind me, just waiting to give tickets, looking to see if people are getting too close to each other. Even more amazing is where the drummers are, there's like white boxes delineating their social distancing squares, uh, and people are still drumming and dancing, but there are police quite literally everywhere, actually, like literally everywhere, and there, I just saw two people over there get a ticket, right where my finger is. They're squishing the person. Um, and that's what the resources are being dedicated to now. Police over there. Yeah, right over there. Okay, well, we're going to walk through the Tam Tam section and just see this first tent. This is it. Yeah, check this out. White squares delineating where they can sit. Get a ticket. Si vous avez une distance de moins de 2 mètres, mettez un masque. D'accord? Those were the rules. The guy asked the people coming into the Tam Tams, the guy, he's a policeman, and I was not recording his face because I didn't want to record his face, uh, was given the rules, which is if you're in the same family, you can be within two meters of each other. But if you're not and you come within two meters of someone, you have to wear a mask. Otherwise, you can be further than two meters from someone and not wearing a mask. It's bizarro universe, people. Let's go ahead. So that is the Tam Tams under COVID. Um, it's not what it was, obviously. And I just discreetly, casually, and I told the police officer that I was not recording and I didn't want to record and I wasn't going to, but I had to ask him how he feels about what he's doing. And I got no comment. And then I just asked, you know, whether or not there's any discussion internally as to whether or not the police, you know, decide at some point they're not going to enforce these arbitrary rules and measures, for lack of a better word, to which he said no comment. All right, well, that's it. That was the Tam Tams under COVID. All right, well, we're taking a trip down memory lane on the way home. This is the McGill campus, my alma mater. 
of honors philosophy. I don't know if I told you I have an honors degree in philosophy. Uh, this is the campus. It looks a lot different when it's desolate and nobody's on it. McGill, look how beautiful the buildings are. So I just had a nice discussion with a group of kids who are studying now, uh, explaining to me what it's like to study at McGill in university during COVID. They have very few in-person learning sessions, if any, uh, all online. In their dorms, they have what they, they have private security that is enforcing um, that is enforcing social distancing measures. I'm gonna fall here and handing out tickets and if you get caught breaking the rules you are kicked out of school for six weeks you can still follow classes uh remotely but you are off campus even though you still have to pay rent and whatever the fees are for rent uh and they have to stay in an airbnb or wherever and they said people are depressed stressed and uh and you know at least now it's better in winter they can go outside but they face with these two meter things everywhere all right i would not want to be um I would not want to be a young person or a person in university. Oh, I asked about dating. They said, even if you're dating, you're not allowed going into the person's room. And they have private security. Oh, they also said that they have um, CCTV in some of the areas and that they have facial recognition stuff to see if you're breaking the rules. Hefty fines and suspension if you're breaking the rules. This is, this is the world in which we live now. Okay, um, now I just went and got myself angry. I got myself angry, people. Why did you get because I can't stop. Can we go? Yes. Ice cream? Ice cream. Okay. Peace out.